Hello to my friends at Dyersburg Primary School. My name is Vanessa Kane. I'm Children's Director here at MacGyver's Grant Public Library, and I'm here to bring you a book that goes along with your theme, Moving On, I Can Do It. This book is called, What Do You Do With a Chance? It's written by Kobe Yamada. So Kobe Yamada is the author, and she wrote the words, and it's illustrated by Mae Beesom, which means that Mae drew these beautiful pictures. Aren't they nice? I like these pictures. This book, What Do You Do With a Chance? What is a chance? Let's find out what a chance is. One day, I got a chance. It seemed to just show up. It acted like it knew me, as if it wanted something. I don't know why it was here. What do you do with a chance, I wondered. What I like about these books is see how there's the chance. It's all bright and colorful. And there's our friend, and he's got a little more color, but he's still kind of dark colors. And then all of this is kind of muted colors. I like how that... Now, we're going to watch those colors as we go through the book and see what happens, okay? But let's talk a little bit, really quickly, about what a chance is. So a chance is like an opportunity, and opportunity is a good big word, isn't it? I like that word. And it means that somebody gives you a, a chance to do something. Like maybe somebody gives you the ball and says, let's try and run. Well, that might be kind of scary because maybe you haven't run before and people might be watching you and you might be like Maria last week and have to find some courage to try something new. But a chance is, is an opportunity to do something. And you get chances your whole life. You get them when you're little. You get them when you're big. You get them when you're grown up and when you're a teenager. Just every stage of your life you'll get chances. And that's what I like about this book is that we're going to talk a little bit about finding and recognizing those chances and saying what we're learning this week. I can do it. Let's find out if he finds out he can do it. It fluttered around me. It brushed up against me. It circled me as if it wanted me to grab it. I started to reach for it, but I was unsure, so I pulled back and it flew away. Look at the chance. Flew away. I thought about it a lot. I wished I had taken my chance. I realized I had wanted it, but I still didn't know if I had the courage. See all of the pretty pictures all the way through the book now as we talk about this little boy's chance. When another chance came around, I wasn't so sure, but I decided to try. Look. He's chasing that chance, Sydney. He's trying to catch that chance. He's learned he might want to try. Let's see what happens. I went to reach for it, but I missed and fell. I was embarrassed. I felt foolish. It seemed like everyone was looking at me. I decided I never wanted to feel that way again. So remember we talked about a chance might make you do something in front of your friends, like Maria and the soccer game. So after that, whenever a chance came along, I ignored it. Do you think you'd want to do that? Hmm. His world's starting to look pretty gray again. And the more I ignored them, the less they came around. Until one day I noticed that I hadn't seen a chance in quite a while. It was as if they had all disappeared. And I started to worry, what if I don't get another chance? I know I acted like I didn't care, but the truth was I did. I still wanted to take a chance, but I was afraid. And I wasn't sure I would ever be brave enough. You think you'll be brave? What do you think? What do you think? Let's find out. And then I thought, maybe I don't have to be brave all the time. Maybe I just need to be brave for a little while at the right time. I realized it was up to me. I promised myself that if I ever got another chance, I wasn't going to hold back. I got another chance. If I got another chance, I was going to be ready. And look, he is looking now for another chance. He's ready. 
He's looking and he's going to be standing there ready to catch that chance if it comes. Then one seemingly ordinary day, I saw something shining far off in the distance. Is it possible, I hope? Could this be my chance? I had to find out. I ran as hard as, and as fast as I could toward it. I didn't know how to explain it, but the second I let go of my fears, I was full of excitement. It wasn't that I was no longer afraid, but now my excitement was bigger than my fear. Oh, I think he's going to take his chance. Let's find out what happens. As I got closer, I could see that this was a really huge chance. But this time I was ready. As it came by, I reached out and grabbed it, and I held on with all of my might. Look at that big chance. It's carrying him away. Let's find out where he's going. It felt so good to soar, to fly, to be free, and now see now I see that when I hold back, I missed out, and I don't want to miss out. There's just so much to see and do and discover. When we get scared and we don't reach out and take advantage and do fun things, then we just don't get to do fun things. So what do you do with a chance? You take it, because it might just be the start of something incredible. Isn't that a wonderful picture? I love that picture. So many opportunities, so many things to imagine and dream, and there is the end. So if you get a chance, I want you to take it. If your teacher gives you a crayon and a piece of paper and says, why don't you be an artist, I want you to take it. If somebody gives you the ball and says, run down the field and see if you can make a goal, I want you to do it. Okay. If you have a chance to stand up in front of the classroom and tell them what your name is loud and proud, when you get to kindergarten, that's a chance. Take it. Enjoy all your chances. Live your life to the fullest. You're going to love it. And then, like I said, you'll get chances your whole life. You'll have so many opportunities to do wonderful, fun things. And if you look at them and you're brave at the right moment, and then you can say, I can do it. Just like you're learning this week. I can do it. I hope you have a good week. I hope you're good to your friends. Encourage each other to take your chances and be good to your teachers, okay? And I'll see you next week.